February 18th, 19th, and 20th, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Can you feel when the sun changes signs or sometimes when the moon changes signs? That's what you're supposed to be doing watching these videos. I, I swear, there's times during the week where I go, oh, the moon just changed. Well, today the sun is changing. So it left Aquarius, we're at zero degrees Pisces, and then it'll go one degree. So we're just about to enter Pisces era. Let's say bye-bye Aquarius. Aquarius invited you to really let yourself think about the metaphysical principles that you live by, the political points of view you have, the scientific fascination you have with this life, open-mindedness about other people, not being particularly opinionated, except that you're so opinionated, but, but at least open to your own thoughts versus what your conditioning was. Well, now we're moving into Pisces. And every time the signs change, I hope you notice this, we go from this eccentric sign to Pisces who don't want to be noticed. Like the last thing they want is for you to know how weird they are. And they are weird. I'm not saying anything mean. I'm just suggesting as a Pisces, they're reclusive. They love to be quiet. They're super sensitive. They have an incredible gift with poetry and music and quality of life, but it's just that they don't want to be overt about it. And people get the opinion, I don't like a particular sign. Like she doesn't like someone. I read this once on one of your YouTube comments. She doesn't like the um, water and earth. I love water and earth. I just want to give you permission to consider Pisces from all angles. They're kind of like a kaleidoscope, Pisces. They can change shape. They can change their name. They can change their hairstyle. They're incredibly creative. So here we come, Pisces. And today, the sun is in Pisces, the last sign of the zodiac, and the moon is in Aries, one sign in front. And that's a very funny combo. As you know, when you change one sign to the next, they're very different. So Pisces is the dreamer, and they're sensitive, and they don't really like being in a body. And Aries is super physical and super strong. So this is a great time in these few days for dancing because the Pisces love, if you're going to be a Pisces and be physical, you're going to dance, you're going to do martial arts, you might do Tai Chi, you'd love to swim, you love to be in the tropics. And if you're Aries, you want to move some energy. It's a perfect couple of days to move some energy. And there's this wonderful aspect between the moon and Pluto over the next few days. It's, it's kind of an edgy, conversation around you, Moon and Aries, wearing Capricorn. So it makes an independence. It's a perfect energy right now to really consider how am I going to do Pisces? How am I going to be the dreamer, use my mail, and be professional about it? Because typically what Pisces do is they want to escape. But when Moon's in Aries and there's Pluto squaring it in Capricorn, you got to get up and go. So my simplest suggestion is, you guys, go exercise. Astrology Answer said, Deborah, tell them the sun just turned into Pisces.